Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be fixing this Toro Recycler. The problem it's having is as soon as you let go of the handle to kill the motor, it actually will not turn off. Let me show you what's going on with it outside. As you saw there, as soon as you let go of the handle to kill the motor, it would not turn off. So that made us grab a pair of pliers and just pull the boot off the spark plug. And in this case, that's about the best thing you can do if you do not know what else to do if your motor won't turn off. Now, I initially thought that it was a worn out brake that's not stopping the flywheel, but the brake was fine. And what I found was actually quite of a simple, easy repair. I'm gonna go ahead and take the engine shroud off. It's held on by two Phillips screws here. And we're just gonna push it back. What I'm gonna do next is pull back on this handle a few times and we're gonna go deep into that visual over there on the control bracket. And I'm gonna show you what's going on with it. Now you would push this back in order to disengage the brake. So that way it's not rubbing on the flywheel when you're pulling the motor. If you look closely, as soon as I disengage that brake, as you can see the control tab there, the bracket control does not touch the switch stop. They are not making contact and that switch stop switch stop needs to make contact with the control bracket in order to kill the engine. When I initially got this motor, this whole bracket was bent back. The muffler was loose. And as you can see, this is bent backwards. So I'm assuming that the switch stop here was bent or pushed up and it would not make contact with this bracket. So that's why the motor is not turning off. Now the fix is quite simple. All we're gonna do is bend that switch stop down to where it's actually making contact on the control bracket. And as you can see, if you just push down just a little bit on it, it'll make contact with the control bracket, but we need to push it farther back. So we're gonna have to push back on the lever so we can push this control uh, or the switch stop down more. So we're pushing back on the lever and we're gonna take a screwdriver and just push this down just a little bit, bend it a little bit down and that should be good. Nope, that's not good. So we're gonna push it down just a little bit more, bend it in just a little bit. It's gonna hold its position. Let's go a little bit more, a little more won't hurt. And now, as you can see, when we let go of the lever, it makes contact with that switch stop. So now we can put it back together and test it and see if it'll turn off. So we're just gonna go ahead and install the engine shroud back on. Now let's go ahead and test it. There we go. And I just want to mention one more thing. You can actually push this stop tab on the, the brake bracket control. You can push this stop tab up a little bit instead of bending the switch stop down. So bend this bracket instead of bending the switch stop. If that's not working for you, you can try it the other way. So that wraps up today's video on why this lawnmower was not turning off when you released the handle. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If this video was in any way informative, go ahead and smash the like button. We would highly appreciate that. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to never miss another upcoming video. This has been Phil with Phil's Small Engine Nation. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, God bless you, and we will see you in the next episode.